All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm here to talk about one, our food plots and like their final form. So we got, we got some freezing temps here in the future. So all that brassica that we planted, it's going to be done growing at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys out of the food plots, show you that real quick. And then it's some tips. And one of these tips may change the way you decide to hunt completely. I know it did for me when I found out and I just recently found out. So let's first head on out, take a quick little peek at the food plots and we'll come back here and we're gonna go over our, uh, our last couple of tips. All right, well, I'm waiting for that camera to send a picture so I know it's working while well, video. Uh, the food plots, the food plots are looking incredible. Uh, I was out here, I was out here, I don't remember how many days ago, I threw some more nitrogen down uh, one week ago. It was one week ago today. Uh, I threw some more nitrogen down. Man, these food plots are getting thick. I definitely overseeded this. These, if I wouldn't have accidentally put this much seed in one spot, these probably would look like that out there, which I don't know how you, much you can tell from the camera, but my God, that is some crazy growth. Let's go take a look. I nitrogened this too, and this definitely exploded. Uh, so to give you an idea, um, there wasn't a lot growing over there at all, like not even budding. So I took nitrogen all the way through the front and to this side here, because it had the most potential for plant growth. And my God, these plants over here have absolutely exploded this week. I mean, look at these. These are knee high. These are knee high plants, man. Absolutely incredible. The nitrogen I threw down definitely helped a lot. I had nitrogen to this whole portion. And those plants, I mean, I'm telling you, they exploded over the last, you know, three weeks ish, but this last week in particular absolutely insane the growth from last week to this week hopefully i have a shot of the food plot from last week and you can tell the difference i'll throw it in here uh, i don't know how much i recorded last week so man i am just so happy with this food plot man i it, i was i was over it it was done all right so the food plots big win for the food plots i am very happy with where they're all at. Uh, the one brand new one, you know, we put quite a bit of rye in there. So if you have rye in your plots, that's gonna keep growing beyond the first freeze. We get, we got a couple 70 degree highs here coming and uh, that's definitely going to keep growing. You get a little bit of sun and a warm day, that rye is gonna keep growing. Uh, but any brassicas and most of the clover isn't gonna keep growing after a frost. Um, you know, you might, if it gets real warm, it might, you know, pop a little bit more, but overall our food plot <laughs> drama this year went from, you know, taking shortcuts at the beginning, which made me super worried about them not working at all to getting some really good weather days and them all popping up and then fertilizing and fertilizing. We ended up saving the food plots in the ultimate fashion. So if you remember my episode, you know, saving food plots, I had an episode where I talked about the three different ways to save the food plots, where worst case scenario, you get rye, best case scenario, your brassicas grow. Um, it, we got the best case scenario out of that video. So super happy with that. But let's talk about a couple of tips. One, when you're practicing, make sure you are practicing with how you're gonna hunt, with your gloves on, whatever gloves you're gonna wear. These are similar to the gloves I'm gonna wear. Uh, make sure you're practicing with everything on that you would hunt with. If you're practicing just in a t-shirt and shorts and you get in the woods and your gloves are sliding on your grip and you don't have the same hold, it's going to change very slightly. And sometimes that slightly is all that matters. So you wanna make sure you're practicing exactly how you're gonna be hunting. Um, and when it gets a little bit colder here, put your big puffy layers on. Go out and practice with you know, like a marshmallow, you're gonna be up in that tree. You wanna practice with that clothing on so that you don't have an issue when the moment comes that you need to shoot that buck. And like I said, it's just a couple of quick tips. The tip that is going to change the way you fundamentally think about hunting has to do with the weather and the weather app. So 
Let me pull up my phone here and get a screen recording going for you guys. So this should be true for almost every single weather app out there. All of them that I know of. Um, but I use Weather Underground specifically. Um, but I recently learned this tip. And I feel dumb now. But what I realized is the few people I talked to about it, they didn't know either. So we're going to talk about it. <clears throat> okay, so we're looking at the weather here on my app. And we see, oh man, 28 on Tuesday. I'm taking vacation day and I'm going hunting, right? Like that is the way I thought. That is the way I've always thought. Um, but the truth of the matter is that 28 degrees that you see, that low, is the next morning. And here on Weather Underground, you can see they have a graphical line that shows you, which made me realize that the low that's printed on the high and low, that low is always the next morning. So you don't wanna take Tuesday off, you wanna take Wednesday off. Wednesday's morning's temp will be 28 degrees. It's like a extremely simple tip, but I'm telling you, I had no idea. The few other people I talked to had no idea. So I needed to get it out here to the world. That changes so much about when I'm putting in a vacation day, when we can see the weather for the upcoming week. Like I wanna hunt the coldest day and I would have, whoops. And I would have, you know, back last year even, I would have taken Tuesday off and I've been hunting tomorrow. But now I know I need to be hunting Wednesday morning, not Tuesday. Now that's not the only weather you know, related thing you take into account, but it's definitely a deciding factor. <laughs> and I hope it helps you guys out. I hope this is a light bulb for you as well. Enough of you out there that it's worth making a video. If every single one of you watching this is like, Duh, please comment below. I wanna know when you knew or how you knew about this because I've been alive, <laughs> I've been alive for 32 years. I've been using a cell phone for more than half of it with weather and I have never known that that low that's printed is the following morning or like that night's low. It's not like the day's low wherever it may land. It's in order, so. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to do a real quick tip video for you guys. Uh, I just wanted, I had to get this weather information out there. So I decided to combine that with the, you know, the final food plot update. You know, it's in its final form at this point. And uh, I hope the tips helped you guys in some way, shape or form. So here in Wisconsin, the first cold front of the year hit, big bucks have hit the ground and uh, it's getting real exciting. So we're gonna be in the woods here very shortly. Uh, and a lot of people have already been hard after it so anyway quick tip video <laughs> make sure you guys like share comment and subscribe and until next time we'll see you in the woods